Hey, what's up, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time today to hang out with me. I really appreciate it. We're chilling here. We got the cats in the office. We got a tea. I This is um, decaf black tea, actually, which black tea is like my favorite kind of tea. And um, I actually forgot that I own this. I was like thinking through and I was like, oh, I want some tea because I, I like to limit my like caffeine like past a certain you know hour of the day and um I just was like oh and then I saw this in my cabinet and I was like I forgot I had this so we're chilling with a little little moment um but really excited to film this real talk for you guys because um I filmed I think pretty recently I filmed a real talk but you guys saw that video pretty recently but I had filmed that back oh my gosh I think I did a bunch of videos like towards the beginning of March for my spring break. And so I pre-filmed a bunch of videos. So I'm really excited to, tell, to chat with you guys about this because it's super exciting news that I went to. I found a new local game store and we're just gonna like chat all about that. And I realized that I think that the cats are gonna distract me. So I need to kick them out. Hold on one second. Sorry, I like, they just they just distract me. They'll just like do something. And then I'm like, oh my, you need to leave. You just, you need to go. And I need to focus because there's a lot of stuff to chat about in this video. And like, I need to focus. Okay, so basically, I kind of want to like take you guys back a little bit um like prior to like the pandemic so basically paul and i have been going to our local game store me just sanctum great place wonderful loves all the people there had a great time and basically they had closed and i had filmed a video back like i think a couple of months ago talking about that and it was like really really upsetting and it was just like really sad and it was like just all the stuff going on with the pandemic it was just it's just not a good time, not a good time. And so I was really bummed about that. And basically, um, we had been taking the pandemic like pretty seriously. Like we really didn't see anyone and like do anything really for a really long time. And there was like that window like last year in 2021. And then like things got really serious again. And so we've kind of been like, at least where I am like on the up and up, which has been really incredible. And so you know, feeling really confident, like fully vaccinated, like ready to go. And basically, um, we had decided that we were going to go for our first like time to like really hang out was going to be with these streets of new new capenna. Please, please tell me if that right. I do not know, but I'm pretty sure it's new capenna. Um pre-release. Oh, and I guess I should say prior to that, actually, we had our first party back, which was so exciting. We love to host. We love having people over. So we had some of our friends over and it was super fun. It was like a really great experience. We had people over for a couple hours. We played magic. We hung out. It was just, it was a great time. Just love, love hosting just this whole thing. So I'm really excited to host again soon. We're actually having some house renovations done though. So um, it might have to like hold off because we just don't want to like book anything and like they're coming like the week prior and we gotta like get our house you know just like this whole thing but we're really excited to have our friends because we will like do this like monthly we'll just like have our friends over and it's just super fun so anyways um I was like oh we're gonna have the like streets of new Capenna. like that's gonna be our first thing and like our first um pre-release event and I'll tell you guys the g new game store that we're gonna be going to is this place called Emerald Tavern here in Texas and it is such a cool place but we'll get into that a little bit more um so anyways so we booked that we paid for that and we were super excited and so what they have at this place is this really cool thing so they have a full like service like bar and drinks and like on like a cafe as well so you can get like coffee tea whatever it's like super cool it's more than just like a card store like there's so many cool things there and so we had done that and so it's a little bit more like for the pre-release event but like you get like a drink on there which is like really cool you can pick like anything you want for the menu which is awesome so anyways we're super excited about that and then the the pre-release you know event happens and i was gonna film i think like a video with like our, our decks or like something like that i wanted to do something with it and then that wednesday i started to not feel well and um on thursday i stayed home from work and because i was just in so much pain i had like a lot of side pain anyways i went to the er i'm totally fine i had a pleural effusion which was like fluid under my lung and basically if you know someone who have one or you've had one before it's like very uncomfortable there's like pressure on your lung and it is like very uncomfortable to literally breathe so you move and it hurts it's like the it was so awful and it was like my first like hospital visit lord 
please. I hope there is no more in my future, at least for a very, very long time. And it was just like a really scary experience. So I like went to like the ER or whatever. So anyways, um, on Friday, I had like basically went to the ER like Thursday night, got discharged at like 5 a.m. on Friday morning, went home, slept for like literally two hours, got woken up by the cats. You know how it is. Um, so I did that and that was awful. And then I had an appointment follow up with a, another um, doctor that same day and um we you know went to go do that and then they were like oh I want you to go back to the ER so I went to the ER again and then they like, did a bunch of tests whatever and they um discharged me at like I think like maybe like four in the afternoon or versus like Friday again pre-release day and I was like okay so like there's literally no way that I can like go and play magic right now like there's literally no way like I felt a lot better but I was also like on pain meds so like hypothetically like who knows <laughs> who knows how much of it was like the pain meds were like masking I just wanted to sleep I got like two hours the night prior and like I was sleeping on and off in the ER but like if you've ever like been in the ER or you know someone who's been in the ER you don't get sleep because it's loud there's like people coming into your room constantly to check on you like every 45 minutes to an hour it's just like this wild it's like I feel like in movies and like tv shows they like in medical dramas they do not do a good portrayal of what the ER is actually like because it is you don't get sleep and it's awful Okay, so I, um, so then Friday got discharged and like I had that day, cause we didn't know we were going to the ER again, obviously. And so that day I literally had like a piece of toast because basically I was like, I literally just need to eat something. And I'm not a breakfast person. Like I don't, I do intermittent fasting. Like I skip breakfast and I like, I was like, I need to eat something because you know, when like you just stay up for a really long time where you just, your body just like need food, needs food. So I felt that. And so Paul did not eat anything and we didn't end up eating dinner until like 6 5 30 like 6 something like that crazy so we got tacos at one of our favorite places like we brought it home and then we ate and then we literally crashed and I slept for like 12 and a half hours and it was like wonderful and it was so nice um so anyways we missed the pre-release I literally could not imagine playing magic that day like at all because I probably just would have made a ton of mistakes and done terribly and been so tired and just like did not want to do it so we did not do the streets of new capenna pre-release but the next day so like you know when like you're just not feeling well and like the doctor is like yeah like we want you to get up and move and you're like that's the opposite of what i want to do i just my plan was like i was like i'm gonna be in bed like all day like that's all i wanted to do but then he was like yeah we want you to get up and like move and like do things like you don't have to do a lot or whatever so then paul was like well we could go to emeralds and pick up like the pre-release things if you're feeling better and so i on that saturday i felt like instantly better i got like prescribed antibiotics and i felt instantly better which was great it's a great thing about antibiotics they usually like work instantly so i um did that and then we were like i was like yeah like let's do a drive and like we can just like, walk around the store or whatever like and i was like kind of using it like we got to pick up these cards anyway but like i also doctor's orders gotta you know move around or whatever so this is saturday so we go we you know just like browse around you know take a look and stuff their board game selection is like literally insane it's like one of the most insane board game selections i've ever seen in my life it's crazy they have like probably every board game that you can think of it's cr probably have like 150 200 board games in that store it's insane and card games so we picked up um our stuff and then paul had called the day before to let them know that we weren't going to be attending and said like it was because of a medical emergency and so um I don't know why this was, but kind of what I was talking about earlier about how it's a little bit more money because you had a drink included with it. Um, they had thrown in a couple of like the set boosters from New Capenna. And I don't know if they did that because it was like, oh, you weren't going. We want to compensate you for like the drink that you're not getting or it was because it was a medical emergency. But it was like so incredibly nice. And it was like just one of those. I was like and the guy, too, who gave it to us was like so confused. He's like, I don't know why you guys have this. Like he didn't understand. I don't know. Maybe someone just like knew they were like medical emergency. That sounds really bad. And they like threw in a couple things. And it was so nice. It was just like, you know, when you're just like having like a hard time and then like a little thing happens and you're like, thank you so much. So it was so nice. And one of the most exciting things I actually opened up the angel that I needed, which is so cool. The white one, um, Gidea, the fonts of hope, which I talked about in my video that I was really excited for. And I thought that that card was actually going to be weird, really expensive. And so I think of the price as a card. I don't, I haven't checked it like recently, but I ended up buying a foil the other day, but I was just so excited to get it. Cause it was like something really exciting. And I also fun thing is I also opened up a, um, anointed procession which that card's like $40 which was so cool so I don't know if I actually if we actually need one Paul might need one for something but I thought that was really cool so I was really excited to open that it was just like thank you worlds for giving us something super kind so then 
Um, had a couple more doctor's appointments. We're good. Everything's, you know, we're, we're doing well over here. And so then last Friday we were like, let's go. And we didn't know who was going to go except for our one friend, Trav. And we were like, cause, cause we didn't know with like, there's so many game stories. It was like, you know, you get to know like that community and then like that community like falls apart. And so it's like, well, where's everyone going to go? Well, they might go there. They might go there. They might go here. So it was like, whatever. So we just like, didn't know we were going to run into or anything, but aside from, aside from Trav. And so we ended up running into our friend Logan, which was so cool. And I hadn't seen him in like, since the pandemic started, so it was like two years, which was crazy. And we sat down and we played, um, before Trav had come, we played, um, him and his roommate. So we played a four person game, which is like my favorite to me, to be honest with you. Like I think, and it was so funny. Someone had come over really kindly and asked us if we wanted to join a game, which was really cool. Like that's why I love so much about commander is people are just like mostly just so friendly and they're just like, yeah, like come and join our game. Like, you know, whatever. And I'm, and I talked to this before. I'm not the best new people, man. I'm just really not, which I think is, is so funny because I like, I think like being a teacher and like being an elementary school teacher, like I literally just like will talk to kids. Like it's no big deal. Like they're just so easy to talk to. Like they're just like, I'll just see them in the hall. We'll be like, hey friend, like what's up? Like how's your day going? Like it's so easy. I don't know, just adults sometimes it's just it's intimidating. I just get like social anxiety. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. Like it just anyone else. So we ended up playing um the four of us. And so um we, um, I ended up playing Reen and basically it was kind of one of those games where it was like, you know, Logan was like, what's the power of like, what do you want to do? And I was like, oh, I was like, you know, I don't even remember what I said. I think Paul, Paul had built, which you guys haven't seen this deck tech yet, but it's, um, a treasure deck. It's black and red. And he was like, I'm just going to play this. Like, I don't care what you guys are playing. Like, I just want to play this deck. And I was like, totally fair. Like, Paul's going to do that. And then I was like, well, like Reen is like one of my newest projects. I was like, I want to play this. And so I was like, um, I played Reen and I absolutely dominated. And it was like so incredibly fun and I had a great time. And basically what had happened is um, there's this really great magic card called Sneak Attack. If you've heard of it, you know, maybe you've heard of it. It's not, it's not, everyone might not know this card. Okay, <laughs> this card is amazing in Reen and I'll tell you why because you pay one mana per creature and they're like, oh, but Tracy, you sacrifice them. Yeah, but with Reen, because they're multicolored, they go back to your hand. So you just infinitely can play your things for one mana. So at one point they literally spent like four or five mana and played like four or five things in one turn. Like these big Naya creatures. And I was like, really? <laughs> it was so fun. It was so fun. I had such a good time. And so basically, I did that. I killed Logan's roommate. Great. It was super, he was doing super wild things. He was drawing a lot of cards, whatever. So that happened. And then like Paul's over here, like, I'm just making treasures, man. Like I'm just, it's just what I'm doing, my game plan. And then Logan was like tutored for something. And then I think he tutored for something. And then I think it helped, whatever it was. It killed Reen or like the board blew up or like something like that. But again, because they went back to my hand, which was also really cool. Like I like that Reen kind of like protects things in a way where it's like if they die, they go back to your hand. So it's like, let's just say something dies on my turn, but someone board wipes on theirs. It's like, okay, but that card's creature's still back in my hand. So even though, yes, you killed Reen, it's like, okay, but I can recast Reen, but I can still play that stuff in my hand. You know what I mean? That's really cool. So um, anyways, uh, then I ended up killing both of them. I think in like the same turn. It, I'm pretty sure it was the same turn. I might have done like one right after the other, but I, I think I killed Logan and then I killed Paul and then it was like in the set of turns, but they were both, I was really scared. I like, I, you know how some people like they get so like when they think they have the game, they're like, nothing can touch me, like whatever. I am literally the opposite. I am like, oh, I think I have this, but like you can just do whatever because I've been in situations where someone's like, yeah, I've got this. And I'm like, no, you don't counterspell board wipe exile whatever it is like I just it's it's like I I've been in that situation so I just I never feel overly confident because I'm like any they just could have things like I just I, I feel that's how I feel you know so did that that was super fun so then Trav comes over I believe and we played two more games and then the power level went up and then it was like okay we're gonna we're gonna up um, up the ante and we're gonna, you know, play a more competitive game. And I was like, all right, cool. Not that that, <laughs> me, me saying, oh yeah, and then I played sneak attack and then I played five creatures in one turn and killed the board. That's not powerful, guys. No, <laughs> it 
<laughs> so that was cool. Um, but it was just like, okay, we're going to go, we're going to go more, you know, we're going to go beyond that. So I was like, okay, I was like, I was going to play Tasker. That was like my first instinct to grab. And then Trav was like, you do not want to play graveyard stuff with me. And I was like, okay. And so then I was like, you know what? Um, no, it can wait for a different day. I was like, I want to jam Abyssin. I was like, it got a couple of cards since, you know, and also too, you haven't seen people I haven't played magic really. So I was like, let's just do it. So I jammed Abyssin. I am like, I have mana acceleration in my deck. I've got it probably like 15 cards to get the stuff. My curve has been lower. Do we draw those things? No, no, we did not. We, we drew like a Mind Stone. And then I played Mind Stone and I was able to get Angel's like one turn out <laughs> So I like, I love when I like hard cast Avacyn when it's like, yeah, I like pay like, you know, I just, I don't have rocks and ramp and I'm just like, there's Avacyn on turn seven, you know? And like, Paul does this all the time where he's like, you can pump out Avacyn so quick. And I was like, yeah, like turn four, like, like minimum, pretty sure, like best case scenario, it's like turn four. And he's like, you can get it consistently. And I did not get it consistently that day, but I was like, it's fine. And so the, the thing about Avacyn is that people see it and they're like, ooh, must kill. But the problem was I wasn't really doing a whole lot. I was like, turn five, angel. Turn six, angel. Yeah. And I kind of have changed my deck, so it doesn't really do that as much anymore. The, the idea is kind of like rock and then angel next turn rock angel like that's kind of what I'd love to do or like or like angel removal something like that you know just it just it wasn't in the cards that day just it wasn't happening right so I was like okay so everyone else is just kind of focusing on each other which is my personal favorite way to play magic is everyone else kills each other and then I'm over here like big dumb thing kill you that's my personal favorite strategy and it works a ridiculous amount of time and that's why I was like, I don't know why people do this with me. He's like, I do not know why. Because I am over here being like, kill Tracy. And no one kills you. And it's so frustrating. And I'm like, people need to focus on me way more. I do agree with you. Um, it happens to me all the time. I play, I, whenever I play Tasker, this happens all the time. I'll just, I'll, I'll spend, I'm like, draw a card. Draw three cards. Play my mana dork. In like the early game and people are like comboing off, like doing all these wild things. And it's like, interrupt your thing and it's like oh I guess the cage breakers kill you like that's just my favorite strategy it's like insane how often it works for me so um we had um so we played and then, I don't even remember like honestly I don't really remember this game at all actually a whole lot but um everyone had just been doing crazy stuff to each other and then I got out of sin and my board was indestructible and it's pretty hard to respond after that and um then I just killed I think I think Logan and Paul had killed each other or something. I don't even remember. And then I killed Trav and then that was it. So that was cool. So I did that. And then the third game. Okay. So I had after that, it was kind of like I had kind of set the tone, which I don't feel like I set the tone a lot where I'm like, this is what I want to play. I kind of go off of what other people do. And then I'm like, cool, I'll just do this accordingly. Um, unless I like really want to play something, which I was kind of like, I'm playing Riku. It was kind of like Paul's game where I was like, I'm playing treasures. I was like, I'm playing Riku. I want to do silly things. I was like, I'm not trying to take myself too seriously. This is not a crazy, silly Riku deck, really. Um, it's just, I'm going to just, you know, like draw cards and like clone some stuff and like whatever. And I was really excited to play Riku because I, I don't remember if I played it during our party. I might have. I think I did, but I don't think I drew well. And I think people just had way, like their boards were just way better. And I, I just didn't do a whole lot. And so I was like excited because it's like I've played with Paul 1v1, but it's totally different because you want to clone other people's stuff. But like when, when you have only one person, you don't have as much pool to choose from when you have like three, you know, two other, three other opponents. And it's like, okay, cool. What's the big thing that I want to clone? You know, whatever. Cause like, I don't have that much stuff that I want to clone of mine, except for this thing, which we'll get to in a little bit. So I'm not really doing a whole lot. I kind of having this similar situation to Avacyn where I'm just like taking a really long time to progress my board. So I'm just like chilling. I think I get like maybe one mana acceleration out there. Like I'm not, I'm not doing a whole lot. It's kind of like the same thing with Avacyn and Mind Stone. I just, I had something similar where it was like one. And then I'm like turn like four, I think I played um, this really great card called Double Vision. Let me tell you something. This card did work, work, work. Okay. The thing that's really cool about Double Vision is, and, and the fact that I'm talking, I've talked so highly about two red cards in this video. Just call me a red mage now. Like, let's be real here. Um, <laughs> if you know, I just don't really like red. But just the, the standouts of the night were like literally were, were sneak attack and, and 
um, and Double Vision. And so Double Vision is really cool because it's every single one of the turns. So like it can be I can do something on my turn. I can do something on my opponent's turns. And then it's like I could potentially copy four things, which in turn means I get eight things. You see what I mean? And so um, that's like the best case scenario with the card. And so I was just everyone else kind of doing their own thing, whatever, whatever. They're kind of like, oh, Tracy's got nothing. How sad. Let's leave, leave her alone. Mistake. So um, I ended up drawing so many cards because I like just drew and then I copied. So it was like Treasure Cruise. OK, well, now I draw six cards. I, no, maybe it wasn't Treasure Cruise. Maybe I did Treasure Cruise. Maybe it was Dig Through Time. I don't remember, but I did something. No, it was Factor Fiction. I played Factor Fiction, which is ridiculous. I love Factor Fiction. I was just really excited that I got the chance to play it because I had it in Tassiger and it just got cut. It might get cut eventually in Riku for something else, but I love Factor Fiction. And so I was like, Paul, are we friends? And he's like, yeah, you've done nothing to me. And I was like, Factor Fiction? And I literally, oh, and then I copied Factor Fiction. So then I did it three times. So I Factor Fiction and got to draw 15 cards because Paul's like, take them do something helpful maybe and then I cast um omniscience and then I um played everything from my hand and then I played biovisionary and then I cloned biovisionary three more times and then I won at my end step with biovisionary and if anybody could do anything to stop my biovisionary I had a counter spell and then I probably had a backup counter spell to that counter spell so nobody was getting through my situation so yeah I um I won with a Biovisionary, which was pretty hilarious. And uh, I just drew a bunch of cards and just, you know, did the whole thing. Hindsight 2020, Paul probably shouldn't have, you know, let me draw 15 cards, you know. To be very honest with you, though, I don't actually think it mattered. I think those extra cards that I got from those three sets, and then I, I had also done previous things where I was drawing color cards in a different way. And um, it just, there was, you know, I just could have done that. So that was incredibly fun. And it was funny because afterwards, Trav was like, you won both games. And I was like, yeah, and I won the first game too with Reen when you weren't here. And it was just a super, super good night. But I, even if I didn't win, I just had a really great time. It was so fun. Um, just like getting to see people and stuff. And so they have a really cool Emerald has this really cool thing where they have like a commander night. So their commander night's like FNM, which is so cool because I feel like a lot of times places like FNM is like a more like, oh, we don't do standard or draft or whatever. And I, I'm sure they do those things, but they did um like, what's it called? Um, they did like FNM for magic. So it's like you pay $5 and you get paired in pods and you kind of do like, I think it's like a round robin like style thing, which is cool. And so I don't know if we're going to participate in that or we're just going to play casually. We are going to be going um, again and we're going to play with games with our friend Brad and um, maybe some more people will pop in. I've been messaging a couple of my friends to be like, hey, are you going to show up? Um, you know, we're going to be going on Fridays and stuff. And so, because that's just kind of like what works for us in our schedule. And um yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. I had so much fun and it was so nice to like, after like all this stuff happened in the hospital and like just like not playing magic with people aside from like our party, which was super fun. But it was just so fun to like go to a spot and like whatever. And I just like, I bought some and it's, it was nice. We got like a couple things and I got some dice actually, which reminds me I need to take them out of my purse. And I need to put them because I have kind of like a purple dice little collection where I collect, I have like my little, um, super hive and I have some like little tiny dice pouch and I keep all my purple dice in there. And I bought a couple purple mismatching, you know, little dice. So that's super cute. And, um, yeah, super fun, had a great time. So yeah, really excited to be doing that again, hanging out with people, playing games, trading stuff, whatever. We have so many cards to trade. It's like actually insane. We've like, because we've accumulated cards for like two years. Because we did like, before before COVID, we like did like a purge of like all our stuff. And like we did a bunch of stuff. But I have like bulk, I have like things. I'm like, I need just people, just take them. Like, just trade. Just trade things away. Please, please. <laughs> so, Yeah. Guys, that is everything for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you've been keeping up with people and playing games, I would love to hear about it in your LGS. Um, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in my next one.